Hey everybody, this is D Hunter bringing you another action figure accessory review. Today, we're going to look at the McFarland Toys Munitions Pack. This is essentially a weapons and guns pack. It's a generic pack, not necessarily for Spawn or DC or Mortal Kombat or any line in particular, just for whatever you need it for. These should be about one tenth scale for 7 inch action figures. This is a McFarland Toy Store exclusive. Now McFarland is very clever releasing this. McFarland's biggest action figure line is the DC Multiverse line, and Warner Brothers owns DC, and DC has a gun ban. No officially licensed DC action figures can come with guns in pretty much any way, shape, or form. That definitely hurts some of the characters, like Red Hood or Grifter. Now there's a bunch of guns in front of you, and that is awesome. I can tell a bunch of them were intended for specific action figures but nothing was labeled that way. So let's go and check out the packaging. H is 14 plus. This is not a toy. Got the spawn logo there. 15 guns for $15. That is a fantastic deal. If you get some third party, 3D printed, custom stuff, it's gonna cost way more than that. 15 weapons, munitions pack. Blank on both sides on the back. You can see all the guns at the bottom. Much credits. There is a barcode, although I don't see how that could possibly help anybody. And of course, I did get three of these packs. Army building, thugs, henchmen, customizing. That is my specialty. Got to have a ton of guns for my existing figures and all my different various henchmen. And you know what? I'm weak. I have three more of these packs that are already on the way and should be here on Saturday gonna have plenty of guns all right now that we have these guns out of the package here they are all laid out 15 guns in front of you upon first glance my first thoughts are some of them feel like they're a little bit too large like that shotgun the guns that don't really do much for me are the three at the top left that weird pistol and the two sort of unusual looking machine guns everything else looks fantastic. These look like things that my henchmen or thugs in Gotham City could be using. I see a long pistol for Joker, a pistol with a science killer for Peacemaker, an SMG for Grifter, a Tommy gun for Joker, bazooka for Joker or Harley Quinn. All kind of cool stuff here. In this video, we'll take a look at each of the guns one by one. We'll check out which figures they think they're appropriate for, and we'll check out these guns with a bunch of different action figure lines from different various companies to see which lines they fit in with and which lines they don't. It should be noted that this actually comes with 17 guns. They seem to count both pairs of pistols as one individual gun. And here are the contents from all three of the gun packs laid out. So the first gun I wanted to look at is going to be this revolver with an elongated barrel just screams Joker. As you can see, it's got the ammo here. A little bit of brown on the handle. Here it is, next to the similar revolver that came with the Rebirth Joker, as well as the White Knight Joker. Here's the Rebirth Joker holding this pistol. He came with a very similar weapon. It'll work well with pretty much any Joker figure. And even Harley Quinn too. The handle's a little bit big for her hands, but it works. Next I wanted to look at this pistol with the silencer attached. This should be perfect for Peacemaker. Black handle. Nice sculpt and detail back there. Black silencer. Looks pretty good. Not as quite as cool as a custom one by MRG Toys but the price is a hell of a lot more reasonable. Here's Peacemaker holding this pistol and silencer. He does look pretty good with it, even if it's not exactly accurate to what he used. Now let's take a look at the Tommy gun. Gun looks good, seems maybe a little bit too large. It's got nice little sculpting detail on the barrel here. You can see some wood parts, mostly black. Handle, second handle to sport it, the drum. Here it is, 
next to a Jazzwares Fortnite Tommy Gun on the left, and another McFarland Fortnite Tommy Gun on the right. I feel like this Tommy Gun is a little bit too large, and it should be sized a little bit more like this one. Here's the McFarland, three Jokers, comedian Joker holding this Tommy Gun. I feel like it's a little bit too large for him. What do you guys think? Now let's check out this little submachine gun. To me, this thing just screams grifter. It's one of the small guns. Has an extended clip sticking out the bottom. I wish this munitions pack came with two of these things. But since I've got six packs, I've got three pair. Here they are, next to a couple of similar guns. These came with a NECA Harley Quinn. Here's Grifter, holding these two machine guns. Perfect fit into his hands. Here's the rocket launcher, or RPG. This thing is very big. You can see the rocket at the top. It's got the handle and the trigger. It's got another handle to support it with. Here it is, next to another McFarland rocket launcher. This one came with a Walking Dead Colored Hobbs Abraham figure. Here's Harley Quinn from the Suicide Squad holding this rocket launcher. She used a gun like this in the film. Of course, she was wearing a different outfit. Here's a McFarland Red Hood figure, also using this rocket launcher. Now we have the shotgun. It also feels a little bit oversized. You can see the barrel there. Nice sculpted detail on the pump. Then we got the trigger. The base looks like it's made of wood. It's got some nice sculpting detail there. Overall, it looks very nice. The first thing I thought of when I saw the shotgun was John Wick. Not exactly the same type he used in the film. Here's a Diamond Select Toys John Wick figure holding the shotgun. Now we have this assault rifle. Pretty basic, all black. The clip down here has pretty nice sculpting detail. The barrel looks good. Here it is, next to both the McFarlane Fortnite Assault Rifle in the bottom and a Jazzwares Fortnite Assault Rifle in the middle. And a regular assault rifle like this is one of the most common games in Fortnite, although it's not actually in the game anymore. Here's a McFarlane Fortnite figure holding the assault rifle. Here's another submachine gun. This looks great. Gonna be a great weapon for some thugs or henchmen. This is another set of guns that if you have two of them, looks fantastic with Grifter. It would also look good with some random thugs or street henchmen. Here's a couple of McFarlane, Bruce Wayne, Grifter figures I turned into random street henchmen. Here's a grenade launcher. It's entirely in black. You can see the chamber it's going to hold all the grenades. Some sculpting detail on the handle. The other handle at the front. Nice sculpting detail on the barrel. Here it is, next to another McFarlane grenade launcher. This one is from Fortnite. As you can see, Fortnite figures supplied me with a ton of guns. I can see a bunch of SWAT type figures using these grenade launchers. Maybe they're firing tear gas to get their enemies out of the nearby building. Here's another type of rifle. You can see the main parts in black. It's got a large clip sticking out. It's got some wooden parts of the barrel and the base. And this NECA Nathan Drake was the first figure I thought of when handling this rifle. Now let's look at this pistol. It gives me kind of an odd futuristic vibe to it. Got the large ammo clip sticking out. You can see a lot of little subtle sculpting details near the barrel and near the base. It gives me a little bit of a Blade Runner vibe. Here's a couple of NECA Blade Runner figures while holding those guns. Now let's look at the two pairs of pistols. The one on the left is a little bit larger and the run on the right a little smaller. They're completely different. There's the handle here, a little bit larger than the other one. Good amount of scoping detail around the chamber. It looks pretty good. Smaller one, a little bit more basic. Still, a pretty decent looking pistol. One of my first thoughts was Hush, who was missing his signature pistols. Usually his pistols are gray or silver, but these definitely work for the meantime. They would also work with any of those red hood figures that didn't come with guns. These pistols were great for my GTO, Gotham Terrorist Depression Unit. I made a big police sword squad out of the White Knight Joker. Now we've got these larger machine guns. All black. Nice amount of sculpting detail all over the barrel here. Place you can support the gun. Ammo clip. Handle. Looks good. 
Just doesn't really look like a standard type of gun. Maybe you could have a NECA Aliens Colonial Marine Soldier holding this gun. Large gun for an overpowered military type unit. Here's the final gun. Another machine gun type thing. First thing that pops in my head is maybe McFarland Doom figures. Giant gun. It's got kind of a grenade launcher looking thing down here. A lot of sculpting detail all over this gun. Looks pretty good. Just a little bit oversized compared to a normal gun that Gotham City henchmen will be using. Maybe they would wear for some large oversized guns for the Arkham Knight militia. Here are some DC and non-DC figures holding all these guns. These figures are all the 7 inch scale. And these guns are honestly absolutely fantastic. It's everything would own one for McFarlane. Although I would have preferred them with the original figures they're supposed to come with. But I understand that's out of their control. They're doing everything they can to help cater to us collectors. Thank you McFarlane Toys. Excellent move. Everyone's a winner here. The fans and McFarlane for making some more money. Now I wanted to check out this munitions pack with a bunch of action figures from different various companies to see how they fit in both scale and style wise in case you want to know which lines you can use these guns with. We'll start off with some of the larger action figure lines I collect and work way smaller. Here they are with some Jack specific wrestling figures. And here are some DST or Diamond Select toys holding these guns. Then some more McFarlane toys holding these guns. Then some DC Direct and DC Collectibles figures holding these guns. And here are some NECA figures holding these guns. Then, with some Mattel wrestling figures. And now, with some Jazzwares AEW wrestlers. And here are some Mezco 112 collective figures holding these guns. It's still working pretty good. The Tommy Gun may be a little bit too large for Two Face, but it's fudgeable. Then, with some Mattel DC Universe Classics and Multiverse figures. And here, some Mafex figures holding the guns and some of them not holding the guns. I was able to squeeze the pistol into the butcher's hand, but it stretched his hand out and it's far too big for him. I couldn't get anything to fit into Galahad or Jonathan Crane's hands. And the SMG fitted John Wick okay, but at this point, the guns are getting a little bit too oversized for the figures. Then, some Hasbro Marvel Legends with these guns. Works a lot better than I expected. Guns visually appear maybe a little bit too large, but they work pretty good. And I imagine there are a bunch of people out there that are wondering if you can use these gun accessories with the Hasbro J. Joe Classified line. And you sure can. It actually works a lot better than I expected. Visually it looks pretty good. Maybe the rifle and Duke is a little bit too long, but they fit their hands just fine. And here are some SH figure arts figures holding these guns. Guns definitely look too big for these guys. Really hard to get their hands. And even the Harley Quinn with the rocket launcher, it's just sort of laying there. She's not holding it. No way it'll fit in her hand. And finally, here are some Jazzwares Fortnite figures holding the guns. Guns fit in their hands pretty good. Yeah, they really don't look half bad. A lot of these guns are actually from the game. So overall, this is a fantastic gun pack. The value is there. 17 guns for $15. And a lot of these guns seem like they were specifically targeted for some of their DC figures that couldn't come with guns. The guns look good. They're maybe a little bit too large, a few of them. I'd say at least 13 of these 17 guns I'm really enjoying. There's only a few that I'm kind of eh about. If I were to rate these weapons, solid 8 out of 10. These are fantastic. The value is there. They're durable. I mean, I could ask for maybe a little bit more paint job, but I'm sure plenty of people would be doing that themselves. Either way, the price is right. So this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked the video, press like below. If you have anything you want to say about the video, add to the comment section. If you want to see additional action figure reviews from me, press subscribe. I do appreciate when you do that. Once again, this is D Hunter. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I'll talk to you guys real soon.